Yama, I'm Jack, and this is Newsbreak. The World Health Organization has officially declared monkeypox a global health emergency. But what does that mean? Here's Nat to explain. I like to keep my finger on the pulse around here. Um, any new diseases that pop up, I'm um, usually the first one to know about them. I'm in charge of pressing this big red button, you see, whenever a global health emergency is announced. Oh, so you know about monkeypox then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've known about monkeypox since May, but uh, it's not a global health emergency, is it? I think it is. I have decided that the global monkeypox outbreak represents a public health emergency of international concern. A public health emergency of international concern, or PHEIC, is a label the World Health Organization can give a certain event, like in this case, a disease outbreak. To find out what is or isn't one, the WHO asks countries to report events if they fit into this criteria. Things like, is it unusual or unexpected? Or is there a risk of it spreading internationally? Then it's up to the WHO to decide if it's a PHEIC. After 16,000 cases across 75 countries, that's now a yes. In Australia so far, we've had more than 41 reported cases of monkeypox since our first one back in May. Health experts say there's no need for Australians to panic. And the government's working on ways of keeping people informed and stopping its spread. It started out muddy and it ended muddy. I'm talking about Australia's biggest music festival, Splendour in the Grass, or should I say mud. Days two and three went ahead after the first day of acts was canceled, but things were still pretty messy. Organizers have apologized after delays left 1,000 people waiting hours for buses on Saturday night. And just getting home after it was all over was a challenge too. It was an absolute journey. Uh, physically, it was like really tough. In sport, there's often no celebration without someone else's heartbreak. Here's Michelle with all of today's sporting emotional turmoil. Let's start with the AFL. And this moment made Collingwood hearts soar and Essendon hearts break. Arms in the air! That has gone through! The game was an emotional roller coaster. He is taking the mickey. With less than a minute to go, Essendon hit the post. And seconds later, at the other end, the ball landed in Jamie Elliott's hands. Takes the mark! After the siren... There's the siren! ..he sealed the deal. Fish have won nine games in a row. In the NRL, the bottom-placed West Tigers looked like they had an unlikely win over North Queensland Cowboys. The Tigers hit the lead! Well, that was until the referee gave the Cowboys a controversial free. That is garbage. Valentine Holmes kicked the penalty goal, which gave the home side a one-point win. Cowboys will escape! And for the Tigers... It was a moment of elation and a moment of deflation. On the final stop of the Outback Queensland Masters, in a town called Birdsville, these golfers face a few different challenges. One is the sand, and another is local wildlife. Beautiful drive, up in the middle, crows taking it. We lost about 25 golf balls in nine holes just to the crows, so it's a challenge. This is the greatest and best news break in the world. Tribute. There's no bigger tribute to pop culture than cosplaying as your favourite characters. At least according to event goers at San Diego's Comic Con, the world's largest comic book convention. It's the constant rush of people coming up to me and wanting pictures. Wanting all of the pictures. And I get to be in character. It's even more amazing. Now, actually, you know, I talk like this normally. <laughs> What do all these people have in common? A lot, hopefully. This is an Ernest Hemingway look-alike contest in Florida. 20th century authors rarely get this kind of tribute, but Hemingway was something else, at least according to this year's winner, John. Of course, every man wants to write like Hemingway. He represented a lot. A romance, masculinity, sports, love of the sea. Ah, the sea. And I'll see you later. Get it? C? Like the C?